that I've seen. Is that yours? That's yours, girl. Is it mine? Oh, it might be mine. Excuse me. Is it mine? Oh, it's my wife. It's my phone. Okay. I don't know my number. Mm-hmm. Turn it off. Yeah, turn it off. Like you said, you wasn't okay, gonna turn okay, it off. Okay. Hello, welcome back to our mukbang. I'm Easter, and I'm Yanga, obviously. And today we are have we're having KFC. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I got is a uh, two legs, one wing. Uh, it's original fries, one biscuit, coleslaw, uh, mac. I mean, uh, gravy and mashed potato. <laughs> Are you done? Yes. Okay. I have four biscuits, right? Because I like biscuits. Um, I asked for potato wedges, but I guess they stopped serving potato wedges, and now they just have fries. Um, I got like a chicken sandwich. I took off the um, pickles, uh, so I I don't know if that's mayonnaise or I don't know what the hell. And then mac and cheese. How's everyone doing? Oh, this cup is too dark. How's everyone doing? I'm gonna start eating because. Mm -mm -mm. I don't care, ma'am. People wanna um shit on KFC, but the sides are good. The mac and cheese is way better than Popeyes. Y'all can fight me in the comments. I don't care. Oh, okay. The fries are better than Popeyes. Uh, before we go further, we wanted to thank all our new subscribers. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. We also wanted to thank everyone who is play, um, running our playlist. We totally appreciate it. Um, we also wanted to appreciate everyone that goes back and watch our old videos and also comment. The comment section is so fire right now. Uh, thank you so much. We have a lot of new responders, new comments, and we appreciate everyone. Um, and we hope that you guys are, you guys had a good weekend. Um, but yeah, I'm starving. I am too. So after I was really interrupted. Remember when, when I was going on about, um, Chick-fil-A sauce? And y'all was like, go to Walmart. They have, like, their brand. My younger brother, because he went to Walmart. And, um, he came across it. So, I also got some chicken dipping sauce. It's very similar, if not the same, to Chick-fil-A sauce. But you know what was sad? Is that I had already put in an order for Chick-fil-A sauce. And that's supposed to come in July 14th. Oh. I ordered it on Amazon. And it's like way more price-wise. Oh, it's more on Amazon? Yeah, because it's actual, it's the actual chick fil oh. Um, so I'm going to put some of that here, but first, I love me some biscuits, you know. I forgot, honey. I love me some biscuits. I love the original, um, chicken. I should have brought the whole mac and cheese, because... I legit just like eating the biscuits with the sides, with the other sides. KFC does have the best sides. Like, I will order four biscuits and a large mashed potatoes and gravy, and I'll just eat that.
I'm trying to make some space for my dipping sauce. If I could have Popeye's chicken, KFC sides, that will be bomb. Masonic drinks. Mmm, yes. They have some pretty good milkshake. Iconic. They put like real fruits in the milkshake. The last time Nemo got a um, milkshake, it was like a cheesecake. Uh huh. Milkshake, and he did not like it. Really? Mm hmm. It's kind of like they put like, like it was hella powder at the bottom. And it was. It tasted oh. straight up like margarine. Because I tasted it. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Because it was like, oh, this tastes nasty. And we're like, Nemo never says anything tastes nasty unless yeah. it's really, really nasty. Yeah. Um, so then Janice was like, really? And I was like, let me check. And it tasted like f***ing margarine. It oh, was disgusting. Wow. Powder. So I'll fuck around with their shakes, but I do like their limeades and their slushies. Mm -hmm. Or slush, slushes. Oh, they got this watermelon, um, this Red Bull watermelon slush. So good. Oh, they have Red Bull? The Drink? slush. Mm. Yeah, they got Red Bull slush. They got the original flavor and then the watermelon flavor. So, Sweetie is a rapper from the Bay Area, right? She came out like two years ago. She started like getting popular. Because she was doing like freestyles um, in her car mm. and stuff like that. So she ended up releasing like her first like like what was getting her popularity. The beat was um, it was a sample and it was from Kaya. Remember that? My neck. Mm. My back. So she used that beat and she like f uh, wrote her own flow on it. And that became like oh people were taking notice right? Uh -huh. So then she started pulling out more music. Mm -hmm. And then um, she kind of just bursted back onto the scene with that My Type song. And that was also a sample. And it was called, uh, it was a sample from Petey Pablo's Freak Leak. I don't know if you guys know that song. Uh, but <clears throat> if you guys were in the club in 2000 and uh, like the 2000s, then you guys probably know that. Even if you guys weren't, because I was in high school singing Freak Leak. <laughs> I don't know. Like, um, so yeah, she sampled that, and it was like that. Um, my type, that's my type. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so she just released her new single, and she sampled um, a track again. She sampled the uh, "Blow the Whistle" by Too Short. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, like her new single is called "Tap In." It's like tap, tap, tap in. Um, so a lot of people don't like her. I don't understand. Well, okay, the two reasonings that people say they don't like her is because she's sampling. So they're like, she sampled, like, her singles are just samples and, like, can she come up with anything original? Um, so that's, like, a one, like, one big reason that people don't like her. The people who don't like her say that. Mm -hmm. They don't like her is because of that. And then the other one is because... Oh, like when she first came out, she was rapping about going to college and and like chasing a bag. And now that she has money, she's taught she's trying to be like ratchet, like you know, like Cardi B. So that's like the two main reasons that people say that they don't like her. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with her. Is she the best lyrically? Hell no. But she's trying to find her own sound. Yeah. And she's like, you know, she's, she hasn't been out for a while. I mean, she's like, she's still in the early stages of her artistry. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, you know, she's trying to be authentic to herself and find her own sound. Mm -hmm. And sampling is like what people do in hip hop. Yeah, but I watched her um, the video that you showed me like two years ago. Mm -hmm. I see that she did her style has changed from. So you were two watching years ago. Focus. Yeah, her um, song Focus. Mm -hmm. She had like um, 
She had like a sweatsuit on. Mm -hmm. And she had like her blonde hair yeah. at the time. Oh, hello. People grow up. Like, I'm pretty sure two years before you changed, something changed about you. I mean, say you graduated. At the you time you were in more. school, yeah. you were. <laughs> At the time that you were in school, you were rapping about going to classes yeah. and graduating. Mm -hmm. Two years later, you're probably not going to be talking about the same thing about going to classes and graduating. Yeah. She's just, she's still trying to find her niche. I mean, and there's no problem with trying to find her niche. Obviously, she could sing or rap because people are listening to her, you know what I'm saying? She has a platform already made. But yeah, people are always going to hate. You can't always please everyone. That's what I think it is. Yeah. People could come in to the comments and be like, not not what we're hating. Are we all going to act stupid mm -hmm. and see that and and ignore the fact that she changed up her style? Mm -hmm. what, what do you think is going to happen? She's a human being. Everybody doesn't stay the same. If you're staying the same... Good for you. Yeah. But like But not everybody's goals is yeah. to say it's in. Um and it's so weird to me that people keep on saying, Oh, like her popular songs, she's like her popular songs, they're samples, but it's like at the same time you have Megan the Stallion, who's also another talented, beautiful rapper. Female rapper. But she's real. I I feel like she stands out lyrically. Mm -hmm. Male are are female right now. Um, but she has two big songs that are samples. Mm -hmm. I mean, she has a lot of songs that are samples, but there's two songs that she sampled the way that Sweetie sampled, which it's the um, the girls in the hood, which is her latest song. Mm -hmm. She sampled Boys in the Hood by um. Um, was it Easy yeah. NWA? Mm -hmm. Is it NWA or Easy? I don't know. Anyway, so it's a sample, right? But the original song that she's sampling from is also a sample of other songs. So it's like it's hip hop. That's mm -hmm. what they do. They sample beats. So if you're gonna get mad at somebody who keeps on sampling beats, like it's not like she's repeating the same flow. Mm -hmm. She's not repeating the same lyrics. She's just using the same beats. And there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously, they let her do it. People could say, well, it doesn't mean that it's right. That's what hip-hop music is, though. The hip-hop music is heavily sampled. Mm -hmm. The beats are sampled. I mean, people are going to say what they want to say. and Yeah, people are going to want to say what they want to say. They're going to hate her. I just feel like they're always like, they're always coming for female artists. Yeah, like, don't she have something better to do? Like, check out the damn news. Like, look how many damn shit's going on there. Like, I mean, it's cool if you want to look and judge, but like, you never have that same energy with like, like the a male, male artist. Yeah. So but how many sure, of yeah. them sound alike? Yeah, or how many damn male rappers are like sampling songs? And beats. I'm pretty sure there's a handful. It's just male. But they're not a pretty female that, you know, mm -hmm. people want to hate on mm -hmm. about anything. They're probably going to hate on her hair or, like, her lipstick or, you know. Don't hate on it, sweetie. Yeah. Okay? Hate, hate yourself. Hate yourself. Okay, well, we don't mean to hate yourself. Well, no, hate yourself. If you think about hating Sweetie, take a minute, look at the mirror, and hate yourself. Okay. This is mind her own business. Okay. You're trying to run her own business. You're trying to build her own, you know, build her own empire. But, you know, they say people that are, that, like, pick on people or, like, say mean things, like, it's because there's something they were hurt before in the past. I mean, what they say. But you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But damn, I mean. 
I was hurt in the past. That don't mean I'm tearing down everybody. Yeah. I mean, you're never going to please anyone in this world because everybody is so damn picky. And they're going to pick little bits and stuff about you. But you know what? She's doing her own thing. She's still making... She probably is going to still make more music. She's probably going to sample more beats. Mm -hmm. That's not going to stop her. You can go ahead and talk all you want. You go ahead and, you know, say any comments you want mm -hmm. on any of her channel or whatnot, whatever. But she's still going to continue to make her own music. I mean, she's going to continue to make music. She's still going to continue to probably sample beats. That's her progress. You know, this is her thing. This is her life. Is she life. paying? Is she clearing those copyright okay, stuff? Then, yeah. That she's do. She's okay. Okay. Like stop hanging. Like ugh, love. I, I don't know. Be positive. Get a damn life. I don't know. When I listened to her music two years ago, and then now, yeah, you see that she has changed her style. Um, but I mean, her song is really catchy. I hate when people do that though. What with artists? Mm -hmm. Where they're just, like, expecting them to come with the same stuff over and over. Mm -hmm. Like, that's not fair to the artist. This is not just about Saweetie or Megan the Stallion. It's just about, like, any any artist. Like, people just want them to be in a box. Yeah. Every album that they put out, they're just comparing it to the last album. Mm -hmm. And, like, instead of being, like... Oh, wow, the change is, like, weird. Yeah. But, you know, it's natural. They just want to be like, well, why can't they ever um, go back to how they used to sound, yeah. their roots? Like, that's what made them popular. And it's yeah. like, it's their self-expression. Yeah. You can't tell somebody how to feel. Yeah, that's like you. Like you, if you have your own YouTube channel and they haven't categorized you in, like, a mukbang or ASMR or, like, whatever. But, like, say you're good in, like, mukbangs, right? But you're, you're not feeling mukbangs. Like, you don't want to do that. So you go strive for something else. You know, try to look out other stuff. And then people are like, you're good at mukbang. You should stick. But if you're passionate, if it's not about mukbang, then why stay there? Like, you're making a platform. You're trying to go for what you feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, you shouldn't let us. And she's not going to let anybody stop her. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure she's like, oh, okay. You hate in, but I'm going to keep on going. Because mm -hmm. you ain't paying her bills. You ain't paying her studio bill. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that's a lot of money to pay for a studio, like photo shoot and get dancers and all mm -hmm. that. Are you paying and the, that? the glam squad. Yeah. I mean, are you are you doing all that for her? You know what I'm saying? If you ain't paying her bill and buying all this shit, then you have no say in it. You, mm -hmm. you have no say in anything because this is her platform. This is her thing she's trying to do. Are you paying her bills? Hmm? Are you paying my bill? No. Hmm? So we're going to keep on doing what we got to do. You ain't going to stop we, us. Did somebody send a comment? No. Oh, okay. No, I was, but like, you know, comparison and stuff. Stop hating on sweetie. She didn't do nothing to you. Yeah, and let her, let the girl express herself. Yes. Let her try to become her own, her own artist, okay? It's her own platform. If it don't hit with you. Goodbye. Then go to the next girl. Yes, yeah, so there's probably hella other females that you fill in. Thank you guys so much for watching this video from the beginning to the end. And if you are not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. No, just subscribe right now, okay? Just if subscribe. you want to, no, like subscribe our right now. If you like our. Subscribe right now! Okay. And if you are subscribed already, thank you so much for the continuous support. Um, click the notification bell so you guys can be notified whenever we drop new content, which is every single day. Also, make sure that you comment because the comment section is where we get Liddy. And share this bitch out because sharing is caring and the more the merrier. Please. Yeah. We will see you guys tomorrow.